a threat and the Albi Celeste as ever vociferously supported as Sofia Rodriguez swings her cultured left boot and sends the kick off sky high into the Celeste skies of Uruguay here in Montevideo and the Argentinians who actually spent a lot of time training in the capital city of Uruguay ahead of the Dubai Challenger are on friendly turf, but they're against fearsome flying foes. Nice offload out of the tackle. The no-look ball around the shoulder and cut loose. The poles are brilliant cover defense. There's that dog nature I spoke of and the breakdown work pretty pleasing too. Wonderful passage, a weaving run. Head on a swivel, looking for support, finding it. Then that was the ball, instinctively given. And Katrina Pashtuk felled on the right edge. So first chance to see Las Yagaretas in attack. Smart hands, just carving out that room on the edge. And then the afterburners come. Maria Bragido can't quite escape the clutches of Pashtuk recycled at speed Gonzalez at first receiver along the chain and into the hands of Michaela Palero the Marabunta woman points to the skies celebrates the try and a megawatt smile to boot first try of the challenger in Montevideo and first blood drawn in this quarterfinal. Gonzalez, so often the linchpin. And here she is, strength, bend, netball pass. And then one on to a woman who's got a rich athletic background in volleyball, handball, basketball, soccer. She knows how to score in any discipline, but she's doing it here at the Challenger Sevens. And Poland come up with the error from the kickoff. There really is a blast of sun going over into that corner. You can see it bathing the supporters who are banging the drums and emptying their lungs. Poland with the error, staring into that sun. Brigido travels almost, uses the referee as a decoy. Gonzalez, Gonzalez spots some room. What vision, what execution, not the greatest bounce and just not enough dead ball for Marianella Escalante. The bounce just never wanted to settle in favor of the 22 year old, did it? 22 dropout. It looks <laughs> looked like Poland were, were trying to play. Oh, that's really smartly done as well. Argentina asleep at the wheel, and Poland at the wheel putting their foot to the floor and shifting through the gears. Getting close to the central reservation and wow, Brigido, the distributor, the tempo driver, but also the poacher. She's one of the most recent players to join this tight knit squad that have been growing. And through their deeds are looking to grow the women's game here in South America, in Argentina, and they're putting on a show in Montevideo. Sofia Gonzalez strikes. Escalante calmly 
adds another pair of points, relieving the usual kicker, the try scorer from her conversion duties. Look at that balance, those snaking hips. Fast start from the Argentinians. It's their victory over Poland in their opener in Dubai that really sent a message to the tournament that they weren't to be underestimated and they continue to build on the promise. Some sophisticated shapes offered up by the Polish backs and a lot of room to go driving into. Zawadzka roller skates her way up to the 10 metre line. The hard press comes up from Argentina. The loose pass works out in favour of Poland, in favour of Marta Morris. Skillful 20-year-old needs none of the guile. Just all of the pace, and she does have some. First in this encounter, second in Montevideo, a much-needed score for the Poles. It's amazing how a loose pass, a bounce pass, can sometimes unsettle a defence that is in control. Michaela Palera racing up, beaten by that bounce and the glide on the outside from Morris. Argentina. Don't retain the kickoff. Serious injury here, ladies. We'll restart with the red scrum. Serious injury and some alarming sounds as well. Safety as ever paramount. As you'll Medina. Oh, and just an awkward fall and a limb trapped under neath the weight of her and the tackler. You know, rugby in all of its formats brings some of the most colourful, the most vibrant fans from around the globe. You have to say that the Argentinians are consistently title contenders. The way that they connect with their players, both male and female, especially on the seven circuit, is something yeah, to truly behold. Grave concern here. And this will be tough for the Argentinian women to watch as well. Las Yagaletas have really built themselves into a movement. They define themselves by taking on the name Back in 2021, 56 years after like the men's know. infamous misbranding on their tour of South Africa and Rhodesia. Yeah. Since adopting Las Yagaretas, they've gone from strength to strength. In fact, female participation in the sport, in the country, has more than doubled in the last five years. It is on a trajectory Travelling in only one direction upwards. Play restarts. Poland looking to end the half on a high. They've been living on scraps as far as attack is concerned. But once again, they go seeking a bit of width and back their pace. Oh my goodness. Witowska almost carrying two defenders along with her. Poland looking threatening. 
running hot here five meters from the argentinian line big defense coming in from medina out to the right hand corner a surge to the line and a finish from katarina pashtuk the half the match turned on its head in two scores and natalia Pamienta, who is taking on the leadership mantle this weekend in Montevideo in the absence of Hanna Klikowska and Karolina Yastrin. Doesn't land the conversion. But Poland are right back in the contest at half time. Argentina 14, Poland 12. To your rugby destination bucket list. Seven minutes at the Estadio Charrua to separate Argentina and Poland in this quarter final. China and Uganda, they've already booked their berths. Argentina were there last time. That was the stage at which they fell. They survived. A tight tussle against Thailand already in this competition. 10-7 yesterday. They lead here by two. But the momentum with the Poles. But the possession with the Argentinians. The slick, slick hand and the supersonic wheels of Sofia Gonzalez. Wearing white and blue and streaking to the line. They were looking tight. They were looking under pressure. But their go-to girl, Gonzalez, delivers. What a bit of history she's got in the sport in Argentina. She goes as far back as the Pan American Games in Toronto back in 2015. The playmaker from Buenos Aires. She lands the kickoff on green grass and her teammates gobble up the opportunity to have another attack. Medina. Great awareness to release, pick up, and go again. Gengini. Well, Gonzalez, nowhere to go. Set upon by Yulia Druzgala. Oh, just the sniff of an intercept. It's high risk. And when not rewarded, there has to be retribution. Poland reduced to six for the next two minutes. The comeback task gets just that little bit taller. The more concern for Argentina and there's another okay. one of their players is down stricken. Myra Gengini, another one of the veterans from that Toronto Pan American Games almost a decade ago, makes way for Myra Aguia. Part of a core of players hailing from Tucumán. Oh, no way through. Pretty enthusiastic on the clear out. But the penalty goes the way of Argentina, who are offering a bit of danger to this Polish defensive line. And for once, Sofia Gonzalez doesn't deliver the goods, doesn't deliver the pass. 
It would have been a try scoring one for Escalante. He made a debut in Dubai and well, it was as memorable as it gets. Bit of a sloppy passage with a couple of set pieces. Means that Argentina aren't capitalizing on the absence of Katarina Pushtuk. But the clock ticks down. Three minutes and a bit of change remaining at this quarter final. No sweeper. So Poland go boot to ball. Almost the footing lost then. Matadoring and stepping and weaving and putting the foot to the floor. Myra Aguia. Sensational from the substitute. And that could be the try to truly break the game. Gonzalez points to the skies in celebration as she drills that one home. Argentina and Aguirre turning defence into attack in the blink of an eye. Twenty-six, twelve. The Argentinians lead. Less than two minutes to play. What can Poland produce here? They're back to seven. Brigido. Brigido once again. Well, the associations with the turnover queens are not usually players of Rigido's dimensions and stature, but she punches well above her weight as Aguia has the door slammed shut on her in centre field. A bit more direct from Argentina. Aguia. Late to arrive at the ruck. Get some protection from the referee's whistle. Aguia. Well, she's full of beans after that try and why wouldn't she be? Here goes Andrea Moreno. And persistent penalties up here. stacking up. I think sees Poland's Sylvia Vikovska sent to the send bin. It's seven on 12 again. That's good press defense. And Poland come away with a lifeline. 50 seconds on the clock, but a feather forward from one of the fingertips of the Polish team. Just like the clock. Yeah. Hope ticking away for the Polish. Five. And making it to the semi final. Argentina with a woman advantage. With the scoreboard on their side. Well, they get a chance to attack. There's no hook. So, Poland, they've got a long way to go. They haven't got enough time, but they are going to try to strike one more time. The hooter blows. The game is Argentina's. It's how it ends. Brigido only able to affect the turnover because the tackler didn't roll away. Well, Guia has had a pretty impactful Arrival onto the field. That's really nicely worked. Aguia outfoxed, seduced on the inside. An offset, Pashtuk. It gets brought down miraculously. The commitment to preserve the integrity of the Argentinian line. 
The penalty conceded, though, from Brigido. Poland putting a bit of air on the ball everywhere they run. It's a blue and white dead end. Nobody, nobody outside Pamienta. She manages to smuggle it to Tamara Kuzma Iwin. And finally, Pashtuk will coast across for a determined and deserved score from Poland. She ends the match with two. So Poland won't end the match with the win. Great jubilation from the Jagaletas who book another semi-final berth. No extra to add from the boot of Pam Yenta. Poland have the final say, but Argentina are still on the road to the final. Full time here.